Joining us, somebody who has been working for years on something that is culminating in real time, Congressman Brian Mass. Brian, congratulations. Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Pretty well. Yesterday uh, was an interesting day. All afternoon, I'm sitting there waiting, okay, when's the Army Corps going to come out with their announcement? When are they going to do this? And uh, then uh, later in the afternoon, it's like, okay. And uh, we found out that... Looks pretty darn good. I want to get your thoughts. So yesterday, the Army Corps of Engineers uh, announcing that they are going with what they call alternative CC, a, a bit of a compromise to the original CC plan. Your thoughts? Look, I'm glad that they chose alternative CC. They're going through something now, and, and this creates a situation that people just get exhausted with. You mean we have to fight some more? We have to fight some more? Yes, you have to fight some more. Um, they're now optimizing Plan CC to try to make it to make it better for other people. And some places it can be better for, like the Caloosahatchee, um, but you have to be careful in what you do. And I'll give you a specific example right now. You have some Palm Beach County commissioners like Melissa McKinley and others that are out there advocating to get Lake Okeechobee higher and higher. And that's bad for the toxic discharges that come to the coast. And I'll give you a mark my words statement. If you get commissioners like this that are advocating to keep Lake Okeechobee at a higher level, then places that are are not set to really get much discharge right now, like the Lake Worth Lagoon up and down Palm Beach and Lake Worth and that area, they will get discharges. If they work to raise the levels of this lake, the Lake Worth Lagoon will get toxic discharges out of the lake like like Stewart and and the the St. Lucie see on a regular basis if that's what these Palm Beach County commissioners do and um so you got to be careful what they're working at here yeah Brian back during the crisis of 2016 uh that happened in uh, the Lake Worth Lagoon which you're referencing there and it was catastrophic uh it, it and just as what we've seen you know further north everywhere this happens it, it's always been that case so as it stands now with this plan, the restoration of the Lake Dyke scheduled to be completed uh, next year. And then this new operating manual, which is what these rules are uh, involving discharges, going to be part of the, the new procedure going forward. That's that's what's being finished up here. How would you grade this? You know, on an A through F, what they have announced that they're planning to move forward with, where does that put us? Uh, you know, for the, the St. Lucie and the Lake Worth Lagoon, our East Coast estuaries right now, if it was just a strict plan CC, I would give the plan an, uh, a B plus to, to an A minus. Um, it's substantially better for our, our local waterways. Um, it would be a situation where it would take a, a lot of rain over our summer to get the, the discharges into our coast. But if they quote, optimize it in the wrong way, which is what they're going through now, where they work to keep Lake Okeechobee higher, or if they they took, uh, you know, water that, that they're trying to say is um, they have to keep it higher for benefit for other people before they reduce the harm to our areas, then that grade can go down. We're still in a moment of flux right now where they picked Plan CC. We're glad that they did. It's good for us and good for other places. But if they change it too much, they're going to work against that. And and this has to be the bottom line that I put to this. Before they start doling out benefits, they have to minimize the harm to everybody else. You can't give out the benefits while you're still hurting other people. That doesn't work. And, Brian, I talked to the Army Corps on Friday about this, and there was a change over previous conversations I had had. And certainly you're on the front lines of this, so you have a better read than I do even. So – in times gone by, the Army Corps made pretty clear that, look, you know, we're here trying to make sure that there's not a catastrophe at Lake Okeechobee with the dike. And everything off of that is really background noise. I got this sense that for the first time, the Army Corps is absolutely serious about environmental responsibility and even seemed, you know, uh, aware of the impact on the record manatee debts that we've seen, for example. They, they are aware of this. We've, we've forced them to be aware of this, you know, to the point of, you know, general over the Army Corps of Engineers. Are you willing to risk your career to say that people aren't being poisoned by this water that the EPA said is poisoned, that the state of Florida is spending 
hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to clean up? Are you willing to say that you're not poisoning people by sending it there? They, they have made themselves aware because we forced them to be aware of it and, and take that into account. And so it is serious on that front. In my opinion, are there still some holdovers that would like to ignore that because it gives them the flexibility they need to just send water where they want and just worry about their dike? Absolutely. They don't want to have to worry about the environmental concerns, but we are forcing them to do so. And as long as that holds true, it will be better for our coasts. And you mentioned some of the competing interests. So, you know, obviously Southwest Florida had been pretty strong against this, but then also you mentioned uh, Palm Beach County Commissioner McKinley, who uh, represents the, the Glades community there. And then you have Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed. You know, it's interesting because a lot of times you'll, you'll find differences along partisan lines. But what I found to be interesting in this regard with that particular issue that you raise uh, in, involving the overall depth of, of Lake Okeechobee, the interest of Commissioner Freed and McKinley, them being on the same page and opposed to what you represent, your thoughts about that? Yeah, their number one goal is just to keep more water in Lake Okeechobee for watering the sugar industry south of Lake Okeechobee. That's their number one goal. It doesn't matter that they already get 50 times, I'm saying that literally, 50 times more water than what the city of West Palm Beach gets. That that fact doesn't matter to them. doesn't matter that it hurts the, the coastlines on the east and west coast of Florida to keep more water in the lake because it's got to get dumped on us if it, if it gets too high in that lake during hurricane season. They, they don't care about that. They just care about keeping more water in the lake for the people that line their pockets to the detriment of the rest of Florida. And, and so it's not just, uh, you know, people on different sides of this. It's where people are getting paid to have an opinion on it. Well, and- and correct. Uh, and Congressman Mass, the reason I wanted you to, to put it this way, and this is, I think, the instructive point. You have Commissioner Free that is going around the state talking about, you know, her environmental stewardship and, and how, you know, she's she's fighting. And the governor, he's, you know, terrible on environmental issues. And, and you're, you know, uh, you know, motivated by these other factors. When in reality, she's literally the one that's being paid off by the sugar industry. You're the one that's actually fighting the environmental cause here. This is exactly true. I mean, that industry spent millions against Governor DeSantis because of how he had been fighting against them, even in Congress, uh, back when he was in Congress, before he was governor. The governor has has been on the forefront of saying, we're going to end these toxic discharges into our coast. We're going to manage Lake Okeechobee correctly. And the fact of the matter is Commissioner Freed, Nikki Freed, she's the exact opposite of managing it correctly. She wants to keep the lake higher for people that are paying her. Doesn't matter that it's going to hurt our coast, that you're going to have worse red tide in the Gulf, that you're going to have blue-green algae all across your estuaries on the East Coast. That doesn't matter to her. That's not her interest, and that's not where she's fighting. Congressman, what's the next step in this ongoing battle? It's all hands on deck all the time. We will do everything that we can to see it through the finish line, to continue to get the community, people young and old, to write into the core, to, to just have that underlying message that, great, you want to have benefits for other people with Lake Okeechobee, that's fine, but you have to reduce all the harm that you're doing with it before you dole out the benefits. That has to be the fairness level that you reach to do this. And as long as they do that, we'll be good. Appreciate your dedication to the issue. Keep finding the good fight. Talk to you soon. Count on it. Congressman Brian Mack.